I'm up on the Odeon board. And what I've just said is in is inviting your spirit to come be with my spirit, and it is good to see everyone here. And you notice I'm carrying a pipe. And in my tradition is when I am with a group of people and sitting down and talking and conversing, uh, the white people would call it a peace pipe. To me, it is a prayer pipe. And in holding this pipe, it is saying that we will be honest with each other. We will be truthful with each other. And this, in a sense, to the native people, the pipe is our Bible. It is our link with the Creator. Because when we smoke, you see the visible prayers going up to the Creator. So I'll, I'll lay it down, but this is why I have brought the pipe in. It's good to see all the old people that I know, and they're all my children. There's a few a little bit older than me, but they're still my children. <laughs> and once I have been here and met you all, absorbed your energy, you will become a part of me because. I may never see you again, but you'll always still be a part of it because you're the defender of my heart. And it was good to see the kids up here because those are our future. And it's our responsibility as not only elders but the younger ones to teach the children, to teach that knowledge so that they can bring it on and it will not be lost. So it is good to see the kids. And basically my talk today is that we say that when man was created, he gave us seven sacred teachings or seven laws. And if we live by these teachings, then we will live a good and a honorable way of living. And the first law is love. And in some of the, the native traditions, they say there was never a word for love. That it was cared, came close to it. But if I truly care for you, then I, I love you. And to me, there were at one time three trade languages of the native people all around this country. They have all been lost except one that's out west and that's the shouldn't jargon. But to me, the English language is the trade language now because it is understood by most everyone. So that is the trade language. So I, and I love the word love. And when man was created, God gave us love, but unconditionally. Didn't put constraints on his love to us. And as I was saying to someone earlier, I can look at you and say, Oh, I love you. I, I, I like some of the things you're doing, but I love you because you are God. Because when God made us, we are all aspects of God, just as the trees and the birds and the feet and crawlies. And so they're, they're all aspects of God. They have that spark of God within them. So we're all related. They're all our brothers. And a lot of times you will hear people say, All my relations are homotopias. Oh, hope in my language is saying thank you. So we're saying thank you for all of our relations for all that you have been in helping us. But the main thing in love is that we have to love ourselves. Because if we don't love ourselves, sometimes it's hard to love other people. And like I said, we don't have to necessarily like what people do. 
just send that in before she passed. Just say so those few words are the greatest healing that can take place. The next is the Savior. It comes from what we call the giants that walked among the people. They talked honestly. They you need to be honest with yourself with what you do, what you think, what you say. Because we do not understand sometimes that this a little thing is said out of let it roll off your mouth how it can hurt so be mindful of what you say and, and, and be honest with not only yourself that if you are honest with yourself it gives you a chance to go within look at yourself and say where I am I where I, do I need or do I need to change something? Or you know, lose something as they go away? You do a pretty good job in that respect. So maybe you try to work it with it a little bit harder. And the next one, we probably come back to the same point with the, the turtle. Papa, can you hold the microphone in front of you? We can't hear you back here. Uh, I could live. I could thank you for both the phone. Son. Oh, I might. Yeah. 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 But, yes. Yeah. No I'm not used to speaking. I'm going to be saying she could tell. But, uh, it's, it's the to be truthful with, with yourself is being able to really look within yourselves and say, hmm, yes, I need to work on this a little more or not. You know, sort of watching somebody back there. But that's <laughs> 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 so, I confess it. But it's uh, it's just a good way of living is to be honest. And sometimes it's hard. And because you know, because a lot of times we'll, we'll look at some, and you can be truthful with someone. And it's uh, just to be truthful with. <laughs> it may <laughs> but it's uh, just to be truthful and you can be truthful with someone in a good way you don't have to say oh you're wrong this and that it's just say you know from my perspective this is what I'm seeing or this is how I feel that you're reacting and stuff and it's not saying that you're I'm right or wrong it's just this how I'm perceiving something, or how maybe you're perceiving something I'm saying. Is you don't have to jump down my throat or anybody else's throat. It's just say, you know, this is how I'm So come you can come in it in a good way. And that's how you be fruitful to And a lot of times with, with couples and stuff, you know, you'll have one person here and one person there and they're sort of, they're not communicating. And that's one of the big things. You 
have to communicate. It's, it's, it, you could look at your and say, you know, I may be wrong or I may be right, but this is how I feel and, and express that. And then you then they have the choice of responding or not. But communication among people is, is the main thing. Communication with our creator. Because if we don't communicate with the creator, then we're not living in a good and honorable way with him. And when we're not living in an honorable way with our creator, we're not living in an honorable way with all of our relations with the earth. And it's just not good to get you. All my friends here, it just, it just makes my heart glad for all my kids, but the, the women of heart are here, and I would love for someone to sing that. <laughs> Especially that song, of, uh, I'm going to be happy, and a lot of times they're dedicated to me on other concerts. It, it's a fantastic song, because it keeps you safe, you're not going to let people get in your way, bring you down. I appreciate all of them in my heart. It's just, you know, <laughs> and, and our, we do need to all everything. And it's, again, I say, I all the people that I've met, the new ones that I'm meeting, and it's just, it's a great honor that they have come into my life. Especially the saxophone there. <laughs> it's just, it's, you know, God is I'm so blessed that uh, everyone in my life. Basically, there's an uh, army of fun all, all, all the all the seven teachings. But those are the main ones that I feel have touched me, should touch everyone. But in what I don't care what denomination religion or non-religion you come from. And because basically my my talk is it's, it's not a religion, it's a, it's a way of life. And that's what it should be. Yes, the, the Catholic Church has their own doctrine and stuff, but unless they take that within themselves and fit it, then it's just a doctrine. And that's the way it always should be with any type of church or religion. So uh, even just a gathering is live your convictions of who you are and what you are. And that don't necessarily mean that it is right or the wrong. It just means that it is. But if you're coming from a good spot within your heart in being who you are, in being what the Creator wanted. And that's all we can. We can prove ourselves. But it's just, it's, it's, it's. And just think, I look at you, you, you. You're the only person, or you're the only you in all of creation. There's not another you here or in the world. So you shine the who you
the object of the sun represents the creator for us. It would go out early in the morning and greet the sun and say, thank you, creator, for a new day. Thank you for bringing your light into our life, bringing new creation, new joy into our life. And then every day it's a new creation. And we take that creation and we let it shine not only in us, but work within us, and then we shine it back into all the world also. So we, we're all magnifiers of that light. And the more we work with, the brighter that light becomes, and the brighter the world becomes. And it's, you know, you say, that peace around the world. Well, peace starts within ourselves. We can sit there and say, oh, I hope peace will be out there. Tonight. But unless we bring it within ourselves, it starts to bring it. Because it has to come from us. And then we spread it out and it goes from one person to the other. Oh, we're responsible for it. <laughs> so, uh, it's my inspiration voice box. Yeah. Get closer to it. Get closer to it. I'm not going to speak. But it's, uh, it's, you know, life is just so precious. And it is very sacred. All life is sacred. Because we are. We're, just, we're, we're like a human being you know, with all the blood vessels and the, the red cells and the white cells and the organs and stuff. That's what we are a part of God. We're all part of God. So it's just that's who we are. And that's quite how we start making a lot of us. And you know, some days, boy, this is a wonderful day I've got the camp and I'm doing good. And then the next day I'll think, well, I should have stayed in bed. And so, but, but I, I don't beat myself up for those bad days. It's just I look and I say, you know, it's really wonderful good, so, but tomorrow I'll keep that. I'll keep trying. And I don't sit there and beat myself up. It's not there. You don't need to be there yourself. So you just need to say, yes, I can prove I work better tomorrow. You know, work do better. So it's just, you know, we, need, we need to be. And it's, uh, look, look, as He knows this is one of the things that he says. It's just, 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 it's just,
I have a lot of people that come and say, oh, they want to be my students. And I say, I can't teach you anything. The only thing I can do is share my experiences that I have had. And that if you learn from them, it's good. I can't teach you anything. And the truth is, I can't. The truth is within all of us right now. It's just a matter of us being able to awaken to it within ourselves. To know it's there. sit with the computer for more than 30 minutes and it starts to <laughs> it's, uh, but, uh, it's just, you know, life is, is very precious and very clear. And I said, you know, it's, it's good to see all the, the children here because they are our, our teachers. And we need the teachers. And if, if we don't teach went out and learned a lot of sort of not so nice things, their fears and everything else. And there's some nice fears out there too. But it's just, it's our responsibility is the older children, the older people, is to, to teach the young people. Because in, in, in our tradition, we say the seventh generation, we plan stuff. Stuff and think about what we're doing now. How would that affect the seventh generation? Um, and some people say, "Oh, okay, in, my, in my generation, uh, I was, I am the seventh generation." But if you're a younger man, you're the seventh generation. Your kids will be the seventh generation in time, and your grandchildren and stuff. So. The seventh generation moves on and on. You don't just stop at one generation and say, that's the seventh generation. It moves. And so when we do think about, especially what we're planning and stuff, we think into the future, even though there is no future, there is no past. The only thing is the present. And so we must live within the present. But that doesn't mean that plan for the future too because when it will come the past we can change it's already gone. So we learn from the past. We learn from the teachings that we have. And it's just look to the, the, the future. And then, and then, as I said the kids are the future. And there is one little story that I'm going to tell right now. And it's a story that uh, 
Grandpa Raven, the old one I was in her uh, 11 years old. And he used to take us into the sweat lodge. Not necessarily to sweat, but he would do his teachings in the lodge. So he would carry us in there. And this is one of the stories that he told us. Once. And, and it's something that I carried with myself for all my life. And every time something comes up, I think about what he said, how I react. It's the story of the two wolves. And there was an older man, his grandfather and his grandson. And they were sitting on the front porch. His grandson looked up and he said, what is the matter? You look worried and angry and fearful. What's the matter? Granddaddy looked at him and said, Oh, there are two wolves with me, having a most fierce fight, a very mean, ugly fight. He said, Oh, grandfather, why are they fighting? And he said, Well, one wolf is evil, and he has greed, anger, all of those nasty things going on. And the other wolf is good and he's caring, love, compassion. He said, Oh, which wolf wins? He looked at his grandson and said, The one who And so it, it, that has stuck with me all of my life. Especially when I get in situations, I'll say, okay, which one do I be? And it's helped me to guide me in the good light in a lot of times. So, you know, be careful with the one you feed. Because the one you feed is the same thing. So that's, as I said, we have to learn. We have a sense of being in a lot of teach it as an instant. Get close to midnight in the dark. When you get close, first the platform, the loud control and stuff, all of a sudden you hear the and I thought, I mean, you will figure this come to get us for sure. But it's one of his goats is sticking his head in the line. So but anyway, life life is good, so Live it the best that you can, and that does mean that there won't be hard times or you would, what, if you want to follow mistakes, you will make mistakes or you can do little things that we shouldn't be doing. But it's just that we need to be mindful of what we can do the best that we can. And that's all we can do. Doing some good one day, or sitting for day, but then you pay. So we just we move on and try to be all that we can. I can talk to Randall a little bit, but I don't know how much time I can talk to him. Um, meditation. Well, a little bit. I'll do a little song again.